Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Virgo. This is going to be for your May 2023. Uh, you can uh, apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to um, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So tell me about um, Virgo, over energies for Virgo. What is surrounding Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? What can Virgo expect for um, May 2023 for Virgo? We have the lovers in the reverse. Mm. The sun. You know, this is so interesting. I feel like, you know, it could be a situation that you could have broken up with someone here, separated from someone here, and I feel like this was a blessing. And I feel like you're ha feeling happier about it or that you're happy that you made this made a decision to end a relationship here with somebody. Okay, so uh, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Cancer, uh, not Cancer, Gemini energy with the uh, lovers in the reverse, the Sun, Leo energy here. We have the qu uh, Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups here. There's a relationship that you don't want to touch anymore. You don't want to deal with it, deal with it anymore. Look how this Queen of Cups is turned away from this Two of Cups. This is something that you don't want to emotionally invest in. And I feel like there is an energy of you wanting to, to just focus on your happiness, focus on your healing, focus on your spiritual path, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys are connected to a higher power, to the, to the divine, the universe here, higher state of consciousness, okay? Some of you guys could have reached out to a neutral party here. Okay, such as a therapist, you know, an energy worker to do some healing work here. All right, tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here? So the Hierophant, Taurus energy, the star card here, Aquarius energy, the lovers in the reverse, the Eight of Swords, the Sun card here, and the King of Wands. There was someone that you were dealing with here. I just feel like the relationship that you're in with this hurt person uh, I, I just feel like you were in constant fear or that, you, you know, you felt stuck, you felt trapped, you were not happy. This person could have been very controlling towards you, you know? I feel like this person kept a very tight leash on you. I just feel like there was a lack of freedom and a lack of independence, and I feel like you're finding that again, okay? I feel like you could have lost yourself in this relationship by pleasing this person, okay? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, tell me about the Queen of Cups here. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? And the Emperor here, Aries, Energy. You know, I feel like whoever this uh, masculine energy is, I do feel like this masculine energy is spying on you. Whoever this is, I do feel like this individual, you know, is kind of like maybe losing their minds because they're, they've lost control of you, okay? Uh, the Emperor Aries Energy, Page of Swords, Leaper or Creation Gemini. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that you guys sort of like might have disappeared from this individual. The Hierophant, Seven of Pentacles, Star Card, and the Knight of Pentacles. You know, I feel like you're, you began this process of healing here. I feel like you're right now you're investing in yourself, okay? I feel like you're trying to be patient with yourself and I feel like you're trying to, trying to take your sweet old time in this healing journey that you're on. And I feel like what led to this heal, healing journey is going through this crazy relationship here with somebody, okay? So the Seven of Pentacles here and the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, I feel like also some of you guys are searching for your that higher purpose in your life right now. 
you know, what you're meant to do, what you're meant to do in this lifetime. You're searching for that right now, uh, uh, Virgo, okay? Uh, so I feel like there's a deep investment into that. Your healing, your personal growth, your spiritual growth, you know, you know, seeking that higher purpose in your life. You know, it's kind of like almost like an energy of like, there is more to this than what I'm experiencing right now and what I'm going through right now, you know? So uh, what else do we have here for Virgo? What else do we have here for Virgo? Outcome and advice here for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Look out for, work on here for May 2023. Three of Wands and Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, the King of Cups here, and the Three of Pentacles. And then we have the Judgment card and the Six of Swords. I mean, you're moving towards your future. You're focusing on your healing here. But I do feel like this masculine energy is trying to work things out here with you. Yeah, a Temperance Sagittarius Energy. I do feel like this uh, masculine energy is trying to work things out with you, trying to reconcile. You know, trying to move forward here with you. But, you know, I just feel like you're not going to entertain this because I feel like with the Six of Swords here, you're moving away from this. Yeah, you're moving away from this. This is a reconciliation that you don't really quite want here. Because I just feel like you just don't want to go backwards. You just want to move forward, move forward here. Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me about the Three of Wands here and the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Temperance card and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you, could, you, you can't even get away fast enough with this person. Away from this person. So I feel like, you know, this experience has really enlightened you. And I feel like you're learning a lot from this experience, which is really important. Which is really important. So I feel like you're finding your happiness. You're finding your freedom here. Tell me about the King of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords, the Three of Pentacles here, and the Six of Cups. Yes, this this person, whoever this is, this this person's trying to come back around. Okay, they're definitely looking for a reconciliation. They're missing you a lot. They're losing sleep over you, but you're not giving this person any sort of attention here because the focus has your the focus, the energy has been directed back to you. You're doing you. Okay, so tell me about the Judgment card. With the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're feeling like this reconciliation is an illusion here. Okay. I just feel like, you know, this, you know, I just feel like this person has created a lot of illusions and you're realizing that, you know, this is an illusion and you just feel like you're just not trusting this because, you know, I feel like this person has dropped the ball many times here. Yeah, you're, you're blocking this out. You're just moving forward uh, towards, you know, um, uh, so, sort of like seeking enlightenment. You know, you're definitely going through like a major transformation here. You're learning your lessons here, okay? So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.